Ryan Humes gives it to Morris. He breaks the tackle. He gets it to the left side. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. sound right boy welcome back to the ffl here on the buck sports channel and this game is gonna be between the cavalry and the new york guardians they have a huge rivalry between each other it's gonna be very interesting who can come up here as we saw last week the cavalry lost the first game of the season and we look here at power rank number 18, the Guardians, who have made some big upgrades in the offseason with especially their team captain here, Zach Swenson, one of the best pass rushers in the league, coming up for that defense that we're going to have to try to beat. The FFL is on fire so far this season. Can we do better here in all pro football to create franchise? And here we start the game with Ryan Humes at quarterback number nine future hall of famer under center he gives it to darren morris left side he cuts between two defensive players and he gets taken down for a nine yard gain now in this game as well we have to remember on the other side they have a star pass rusher in nesbitt and he's injured so humes gets to run to the left side and that's cast with the catch as Hunter Humes has said in the past, he's going to be trying to use a lot more of these rollout passes that Cameron Sloan is going to try to draw up here. And now Reed Weathers coming through like a bowling ball, but gets stopped for a two-yard gain. Cavalry had a very close game last week as Darren Morris gets taken down before the first down marker. Can they beat the Guardians here? As they give it to Reed Weathers again, he charges up, he pulls over that defensive back right there. And Reed Weathers gets taken down at the line of scrimmage. What a play by Reed Weathers. A giant bowling ball at a running back. And there, Beckham the third with an amazing catch for a touchdown, giving the Cavalry the lead. As their new quarterback, Neve Watts, comes out to the field in New York, they give it to the backup or a former backup running back, now starter David Harris, who had a good game against the Cavalry last season. Neve Watts now steps back. He tries to run but gets hit out of his shoes. A huge spear right there by Julian Johnson. That's going to end the drive. It's going to be Cavalry's ball after the punt. Ryan Humes motioning over Tanner Beckham the third. As Humes sits in the pocket, he throws it to Darren Morris, who spins out of a tackle. But sadly, that's going to be out of bounds. Second down and ten. Humes under center, throws it to Hanson, but overthrows the pass. Humes. There's been a lot of rumors about him possibly retiring after this season, but we're still not sure as he throws another bad pass and it forces the punt. But it's just like that. He can make an amazing throw and then he's very inconsistent as Neve Watts runs into another sack, this time by Jermaine Redden. Former Blackbird star on the defensive line here with the Boston Cavalry. A big mix of veterans and young players as Watts throws it short now to Dante McCurley, but he gets taken down. McCurley's on the left side, former quarterback himself. He's now one of the fastest receivers in the league. Watts sits in the pocket. He throws a screen to David Harris. He breaks the tackle, but is taken down behind the line. What a play by Donald. Cavalry's ball again as Darren Morris tries to run the ball but gets taken down behind the line 
as a guardian is injured. There's their star linebacker, Thompson Terry, laying down on the field. This is not looking good for the Guardians. Also, Ryan Humes is facing his former team because he used to be on the Guardians two years ago as he gets hit on that rollout. Third down and 13. Humes is under center. Changing the play at the line. He gets a stop play action. He sits in the pocket to left. He throws a deep to Terry back of the third. He cuts it up the field and almost gets a touchdown. He's taken down at the goal line. So you see it again. Humes just waiting and just throws it perfectly in between two defensive backs right there for the Guardians. What a play by the star receiver getting open. And now they give it to their uh, offensive weapon in Jacob sorry not Jacob Jackson Thomas as he dives again and just can't get in it's third down and goal they call no huddle Jackson Thomas again over the top but he cannot get it they're gonna sub in Humes back in fourth and goal and Humes throws a fade to Beckham but it's dropped unfortunately dropped right there now they got 99 yards to go as David Harris gets the handoff and maybe gets a yard Neve Watts now in the center, former championship winner with the Wolves. He spent a lot of his career with the Firebirds. Now he's here with the Guardians in his hometown. As Neve Watts gets a draw, and it's going to be a safety for David Harris getting put down behind the line. Now it's going to be first down and 10 after the kick. It's going to be Reed Weathers destroying Zach Swenson and carrying the whole entire Guardians defense with him. Second down and two now with Darren Morris in the backfield. As Ryan Humes is motioning over Beckham. They gotta run the ball? No, they do not. Humes sits in the pocket. He throws it quickly to Darren Morris. He gets wide open, running room down the sideline. He jukes back in. He spins back out, but it's taken down by Holloman. First down and ten. Ryan Humes. Future Hall of Famer gives it to Reed Weathers, who's looking like a future Hall of Famer getting taken down for only a gain of four. Reed Weathers last year owned the league in rushing yards. Now they sub in uh, Jackson Thomas again. He falls forward and gets a good gain out of that direct snap to the quarterback. And they call no huddle. They're going to run it again with Jackson Thomas. He dives over the top. It works this time. And that's a first down. Humes back in. They tossed it to Reed Weathers, who played fullback. He gets taken down. In developmental, Reed Weathers was known to be the best fullback in developmental. And that's when he got picked back up by the Cavalry. Now Humes throws off his back foot to Wallace. Smoochy Wallace from the Discord gets a touchdown. Humes felt pressured, but he slipped. And as he kept running back, he finally threw someone open. And that's going to be a touchdown 16 to 0. As Neve Watts is now under center for the Guardians. Can he get some going here? He's been kind of lackluster all day as he finally gets a good completion. But Beckett Bradshaw, the first, uh, one of the first picks in this past draft, gets a good tackle. Neve Watts again under center. He throws it quickly to the left side and it's caught by Danny Johnson, former quarterback. First down and 10. Watch changing the play. He steps back. Five step drop and he gives it quickly to Dante McCurley. He gets taken down before the first though. Second down and three. Guardians made a lot of big pickups in the offseason. And they're looking to be one, a one pretty good team on the rise this year as David Harris gets taken down. Third down and two. This is going to be a big play for the Cavalry. They've been kind of struggling on these plays all season long. As Neve Watts gives it to Harris, he gets some big running room, but luckily Kedrick Buffing made the tackle, but that's still first as Watts throws a quick pass to Dante McCurley, the fastest wide receiver in the league. You see that again? He just sprints wide open. Garrett Jensen could even make a play on that ball. It also helps that Neve Watts has one of the fastest releases and most powerful arms in the league. 
Now David Harris cuts it back inside and gets taken down by Avery. Guardians are trying to run a lot of what the Firebirds ran with Watts last year. As Watts was Offensive Player of the Year. As Watts now throws it, it's almost intercepted by Perry Miller. Miller, a tall, big safety right there. You usually run support. He dropped an easy pick. Third down and seven. Watts under center. Perfect protection. He throws a wide open. Dante McCurley again. That's not going to be the first. And going for the field goal. Boston thinks it's going to be a fake, though. They don't want to get played. But the ball is kicked, and it's through the uprights as the Guardians finally score in this game with only four minutes to go uh, in this half as a perfect pass to Tanner Beckham the third in coverage by Holloman at safety. But look at that perfect throw by Ryan Humes. He looked like he was in pain on that one, but it does not matter. Now Darren Morris gets the trap play under the middle, and he gets taken down, but still a gain of five. Zach Swenson is everywhere on that D-line, making plays. Second down and five now. Ryan Humes motioning over Beckham to the left side. They like running this option formation type deal as Humes sits on the pocket. Throws it to Beckham, but he cannot make this catch. He gets sandwiched, and that's third down and five. Humes steps back. Perfect protection. Throws it quickly to Beckham, and he gets taken down before the first down marker. They're forced to punt. It's Guardians ball, and they have a chance to try to at least be a little closer here. Is Holy wow. Big hit by Garrett Jensen on Harris as Harris is upturned onto his head, but luckily he's okay. Second down and two. Harris gets the ball. Bear Calcoon. Tries to make the tackle, but Bear cannot handle Harris and his speed. That's still a first. Neve Watts trying to make some plays here. One of the most clutch quarterbacks of all time. Throws another quick pass to guess who? Dante McCurley. And gets a good gain of eight. Watts now gives it to Harris on the run. Harris spins but gets obliterated. Wow, Martin McLaughlin just making a big hit on Harris. As Watts has all the time in the world of throw and gives it to Dante McCurley again. And they're going to try to go for a very long field goal. They don't have much time left. But luckily Boston uses a timeout to try to ice their kicker. Cameron Sclown playing this real smart now. First down and 10. 11 seconds to go. Guardians kick the ball. And it's too short. Let's go. Most likely we're going into the second half here. Up 16 to 3. But sadly. The Guardians start with the ball. First down and 10. They give it to Harris again. They get another shot as Bear Calhoun finally gets his hands on the running back for a loss. Neve Watts now gives it to Harris. Harris jukes and he gets tackled down by Vincent Lovelock, who was part of that big trade that the Lightning and the Cavalry did this past offseason. Benson, one of the best slot CBs in the league. As Nevot sits in the perfect pocket. He's running. It gets absolutely speared by guess who? Perry Miller. It's going to be first down and 10 for the Cavalry. They give the ball to Darren. Darren breaks one tackle. He hits the sideline. He jukes in. He spins out. And he accidentally runs out of bounds. That play could have sealed the game for Boston. But it doesn't. Morris cuts back and spins and then just accidentally runs out of bounds. First down and 10 for the Cavalier with Jacob Thomas. It's not a run. We're going to see what he has here. He throws a ball. Wow. We haven't seen a man throw a ball like that ever in this league as Thomas now gets another shot. He throws it to Smoochie Wallace in the coverage. This guy has a future. What a talented, talented quarterback. Now we're back with Ryan Humes. You just need a small break. Now he throws it to Cass down the left side for the almost 
a touchdown. He gets stopped near the 10-yard line. First and goal. Jackson Thomas again gets the direct snap and he takes it for a gain of three. Humes changing the play at the line with Morris behind him. He keeps audibling here with three seconds to go. He snapped the ball here and Humes gets obliterated. Julian Johnson let up a sack. We don't see that often now. Play action. Humes trying to run around. Make some happen. He's trying to run away and he gets tackled face first onto the ground. It's going to be fourth and goal as Ryan Hall from YouTube kicks the ball and it's through the uprights. 19 to 3. Cavalry have the lead still as this game is over halfway over. First down and 10. For the Guardians, Eve Watts gives it to Harris. And he gets some good blocking, but he cuts it back inside. And Martin McLaughlin makes the tackle. Dante McCurley has five catches on the day already. Eve Watts likes force-feeding him the ball. As Watts steps back again, he throws it to Merchant. They're tight end. He breaks one tackle. And Kaufman makes the tackle down the field near the halfway point. First down and ten. Watts now gives it to Harris. He cuts it outside and he gets hit hard by Barry Miller. Been calling his name out a lot this game. Second down and 12. Can the Guardians get any more production out of these players as Breckett Bradshaw makes a big tackle on Dante McCurley? Third down and eight. Watts throws it quickly to McCurley again as Garrett Jensen makes the tackle. What plays by Neve Watts. He has one of the best throwing motions in the league. As you just see him just generate power from nowhere. He's changing the play here. Neve Watts one of the most intercepted quarterbacks the first few years of his career. And he's really stopped that. As McLaughlin makes another big tackle on Harris. Watts trying to get his hometown team. As he's actually starting over their new rookie quarterback, uh, the Terror. As in Terry, the Terror, Thompson. Third down and six. As Th Dante McCurley makes another catch for the first. It's weird to not see Terry out here, but they think they're better with Neve Watts at quarterback as he throws another amazing pass, this time to Earl Wallen. First and goal. Watts gives it to Harris, and he falls forward, but is barely stopped before the marker. As now again, they bring up their backup running back, Brady Coons, and he gets the touchdown. Back up running back getting all the glory. Now Cavalry are only up by nine. Humes is under the uh, under center, changing the play at the line. He gives it to Morris. He doesn't get great blocking. He gets taken down for only a gain of one. They called no huddle. I think they're trying to get as many yards before uh, the fourth quarter starts as Beckham makes an amazing catch in traffic. And gets the first. First down and 10. Jackson Thomas gets a direct snap. He cuts it in. He cuts it to the left side. He cuts it down the sideline. And gets taken down for a huge gain. He's now nearing the red zone. As now Ryan Hume sits in the pocket. He throws it down to Beckham. Who gets taken down for only a gain of 9. Cavalier are really rocking this drive so far. Humes under center, giving it to Darren Morris, who cuts it back outside and gets tackled for the first. He doesn't have a lot of yards, but he's really producing so far the last game into today as Morris gets another handoff. He jukes and almost gets the first, it looks like. They're so close, inches away. 
they give it to Weathers, the power back of the two, and they get the first. Humes now in the shotgun. He tries to run away, but he gets sacked. In his career, he's always known to really step up in the pocket and really get devastated with hits. Now he's trying to run away, and he's sacked by Bubba Buckner in the backfield. Third down and goal. He has a long way to go, though. Humes tries to throw down the field to Smoochie, and he doesn't look back. Smoochie just gets the ball, bounced off his helmet, and now Ryan Hall setting up for the field goal. And the ball is kicked, and it's too short. He's not known for his big leg, and the ball is short as the Cavaliers are only up by nine with seven minutes to go, and they're facing one of the most clutch quarterbacks of all time. They give it to Harris, and Harris gets taken down. Second down and nine now for the Guardians here in New York. Neve Watts under center. It's a draw play to Harris. He spins out Beckett Bradshaw. And right there, what a wicked spin by that man. He It's now third down and four as Watts steps back. He surveys the field. There's a deep to Merchant who makes the catch in traffic against Perry Miller. As Neve Watts has only missed one pass all game. Now Harris gets another run as Donald makes a tackle. Neve Watts has the best accuracy rating uh, in the league, at least one of the best accuracy ratings. And you look at his completion percentage, it's the highest in the whole entire league. And now Harris cuts it to the right side, down the sideline, using his speed, and finally Donald makes a tackle. It's now first down and goal. Watts under center throws it to the down the field touchdown. No. The Guardians get a big drive to a touchdown in the back of the end zone. It's now 19 to 17. Ryan Humes gives it to Morris. He breaks a tackle. He gets it to the left side to the 50, the 40. He jukes. He gets. He breaks that tackle. Finally, Zach Swinson makes the tackle near the 30-yard line. Oh my! Darren Morris right there showing how much of an elite running back he is. He was trying to make a move to cut back inside as Jackson Thomas. Nope, he shotgun pass here. He throws it down the field and overthrows Tanner Beckham the third. He's not he's a very raw prospect as now Ryan Humes is back and he throws it to Hansen and gets a decent gain, but now it's third down and seven. They're nearing the red zone as they're close to maybe kicking a field goal. As Hume sits in the pocket, he's running away and he gets a big loss. He usually would just step up and get a big hit, but he's been trying to stay a little more healthy. As now it's fourth down and 18, Jackson Thomas. He could throw the ball long here. He sits in the pocket, he throws it deep, and it's picked up by Holman. But it basically acts as a punt with 2.40 to go. First down and 10. Neve Watts in the shock of Harris next to him. He throws to the left side in coverage to Earl Wall in the veteran wide receiver. He makes the catch as Watts now again throws it again. And Dante McCurley with the toe drag swag on the left sideline. What a play by Watts there. McCurley got open just enough as now Watts again steps back, throws it, and it's always picked off. But Lovelock makes the tackle on Merchant in the I-4 with two minutes to go. Can the Guardians come back? What a wild comeback this is as Merchant makes another catch down the field. First down and ten. As the drive is still alive with 125 to go. Watts throws to the right side to Danny Johnson. It's a gain of nine. They're in the strong eye here. 120 to go. Watts, one of the most clutch quarterbacks of all time, gives it to Harris and he's tackled for a loss. Finally, a stop by the Cavalry. Can they get another? Watts gives it to Harris. He gets perfect blocking. Downfield using his speed. He gets taken down. 
And finally, Boston has to use a timeout with 39 seconds to go. First down and 10. Watts gives it to Harris again. He gets tackled behind the line. And they have to finally use their last timeout with three seconds left. As the Guardians set up for the game-winning field goal. Cavalry could not stop them whatsoever. The ball is kicked, and it's through the uprights. No! The Cavalry lose again. Now, last year, they were blown out almost every single game. It's understandable that they're finally making strides here, and every game is so close. We've had two nail biters in a row but if you really enjoy the content, leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time with more Cavalry Franchise. See ya. Peace. It sound right, boy.